Every 23 seconds a child dies somewhere in the world of a vaccine preventable disease. It's an alarming statistic but it's one that the Gavi Alliance is working hard to address. Every child in our view has a right to these vaccines that we take for granted in many of, of the donor countries and uh, we need to reach every child and in some countries that's really hard because of lack of infrastructure, because of conflict, because uh, the, there is uh, a vulnerable state of, of affairs in the nation and so we need to try to overcome all these uh, obstacles. In early November, Gavi Board Chair Dagfin Hoy Bratton and Deputy CEO Helen Evans led a three-day field trip to Myanmar, one of the poorest nations in Southeast Asia. The trip gave senior Australia and New Zealand politicians and officials the chance to see for themselves how Australian aid dollars are being spent. Myanmar is emerging from, what, five decades of social and political isolation. So I think we're just beginning to get a picture of what's going on. And I think it's an extremely exciting time. But I think that their um, uh, investment in health and education has been really quite slight. And they haven't been keen to have uh, non-government organisations in. So I think there's a huge commitment here, I think there's a lot of enthusiasm but I think the health services need strengthening and I think in terms of immunisation which is Gabby's core business, I think that um, the immunisation uh, rates are good in some places but they're, they're probably pretty low in other places and in fact some of the uh, border areas and the conflict areas we actually don't know what's going on. MPs got an on-the-ground glimpse of Gavi's unique model. Gavi pools demand to purchase the best vaccines for the children who need them most. And Australia is a big supporter. The peace negotiations may take a while to get everything settled in nor, uh, northern part of the country, but uh, health is another thing. We can't wait till tomorrow. That's why we are trying to uh, deliver the vaccination programs and all other healthcare programs as much as possible with the help from all the stakeholders. During the trip, Myanmar celebrated the launch of Gavi's pentavalent vaccine as well as the measles second dose. Over the next six months, these children will be among a half million children in Myanmar to gain protection from measles, diphtheria, tetanus, whooping cough, hepatitis B and HIV. As Myanmar emerges from decades of social and political isolation, the Gavi Alliance is committed to supporting all children throughout the country to give them the best possible chance of growing up to lead healthy and productive lives.